Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is August 21st, which means today is the day of the total solar eclipse across America from, from Oregon, stretching from, what is that, Northwest to Southeast Oregon, straight to South Carolina. That is directly across America. So for a few hours, it's gonna go dark because the moon is going to be passing through as the earth orbits, the moon will be passing between the sun and the earth, creating total darkness for all of America <laughs> for a few hours. This takes place because of the actual shadow that it's creating when it sweeps across the shadow is going to be like at 5%, so that is what's going to create that e eclipse effect. And little did I know, eclipses only happen during the new moon. So what more magical time to utilize than now for renewal and for releasing of things that we want that no longer serve us and things that we no longer want. Now, when I was growing up, I remember... Um, us having a partial eclipse in the Bahamas and this freaked my grandma out to death okay <laughs> like she thought it was the end of the world she thought judgment day was coming it was like you know and ancient people believed that you know it was like some sun serpent like this was like ancient China and India where they believed that the sun serpent or some dragon was actually attacking the sun Thank God for knowledge and wisdom. Thank God we are in the age of knowledge and wisdom and we know better now. But we also know that there is some supernatural t essence to this occurrence. This is an astrological phenomenon that, that has a lot of omen behind it. So it is a perfect time for us to now go into that new moon manifesting, new moon release and, and clearing blockages to abundance and prosperity, to healing and all of that wonderful stuff. Um, most of us, if we get to live long enough, would see about three to four total eclipses in our lifetime. That is something I did not know either. So <laughs> it's something to be excited about. It is something that, that you definitely want to be careful for, of course, for your eyesight, because everybody was, everybody's excited to see this and it's really nothing to see actually <laughs> it's not meant to see it's more meant to feel it's an energy shift that's taking place and i'm just showing my shoulders <laughs> um that's taking place so it's time for us to use put into use some magical practices like i said earlier that are going to help rid us of blockages and that are going to help manifest desires so at this time at this time, it is time for us to go in first to kind of visualize what we would like to see, to clear things. We want to, like how I would do on a new moon, any new moon, I would definitely utilize crystals. As you can see, I've got my clear quartz here. This is one of my favorites that I made myself. Um, I wear it, I wear it just about every day actually. but definitely more when I'm going out or doing videos and stuff like that but this is something clear quartz is what's going to amplify the energy uh, surrounding your whatever your intentions are in accordance to that and I've got myself some other crystals here I've got selenite I've got citrine we've got jade and you can like definitely utilize your crystals making yourself a crystal grid this is a wonderful time for meditation and so your crystals are definitely going to come into play for that. Um, I got like a sage stick, going to be energy clearing. We're going to be, like I said, removing all of the old negative limiting energy. We're going to time to now move into some new, fresh, wonderful, renewing energy. And like I said before, we're going to go within now. So it's time to get it right on the inside before we can actually see things move toward the outside. So see the totality of this event that is taking place, not with your naked eyes, of course, uh, not with sunglasses either, not with binoculars like my son suggested, and I was like, no, that's not going to work, that's going to like blind you. <laughs> You're magnifying the sun, the rays, <laughs> and giving it a pigeonhole to like strike you straight in the pupils, like no, that's not smart. <laughs> 
This is the time, like I said, though, to see the totality of this occurrence that's taking place, this natural occurrence. It is time for us to now, this is this eclipse is going to remind us, let it remind us to like live in the moment, to be present, to feel the energy every moment we get to live in, be present, be grateful for it, show gratitude, you know, because you're grateful for all of this. You're grateful for life. You're grateful for the actual cycles of nature. You're grateful for all of that. Be grateful and lighten up. <laughs> lighten up because, you know, it's, it's lightening up. It's letting go of old. It's releasing, you know, old things that no longer serve you, whether it's within, whether it's in your uh, possessions. You need to let go of things that no longer serve you in order to make way and make room and space for better things that do serve you. Don't be afraid of the darkness. That's something else that I want to throw in there because, you know, through the darkness is, comes creation. So the darkness is necessary. It's absolute, is an absolute necessary part of the process. This is why this new moon phase is so important and so heightened energetically. Reminding you this is also the time where this nature reminds you to stay magical, to remain magical, remain awesome. Remember that you are a part of this wonderful, magical like thing full of divine intelligence. It knows exactly what it's doing and you know why it's doing it, how it's doing it. You just need to know the things that you want, things that you don't want. You need to know why you don't want them and why you do. But the universe, the creator, source energy figures out the how and the when, you know. So go within, as above, so below. Hello. <laughs> and the magical effects of this solar eclipse now, it, it's the heightened power of the new moon, like I said, the superpowers, it's supercharged powers of the new moon. It's a catalyst for transformation, for change. And if it's any time for that, it would be now uh, to try and clear out things, blockages and limitations to your, to your creating the life that you desire. It's a time for healing. It's a time for renewal. It's a time of revelations and like realization. This is important because you want now things to be revealed. You want things to be uncovered. You want out of the darkness now, here comes the light. You want the light to be shown on things that you always thought were hidden. So you want discoveries now and things to be uncovered. This is the energy of the complete cycle of solstices and the equinox, equinox. So it is a full culmination of this actual earth's movement in our solar system and i wanted to talk about a few things that i think we could actually do like i said before meditating is definitely the best magical practice you could incorporate today focus on the things you desire visualize them like see them in your mind's eye as being real feel it real um you want to like create a vision board as you guys can see mine is in the back there it has so many pictures that sometimes it feels like it's just some wall hanging but then usually I realize when I'm working out or things like that or around these kinds of times the new moon I would focus my my attention on particular things specific things that I that I I, I really want to see in the short term so do that Incorporate crystals, like I said, you can get, you make yourself a nice, wonderful cleansing crystal bath today. Um, you know, you want some amethyst, some rose quartz, maybe moonstone or something like that, and some good, wonderful uh, aromatic incense and stuff, and just soak, thinking of, like I said, manifesting what you would like to see and what you don't want to see and all of the limitations and blockages you want to go away as that water runs away from you out of the drain you let it run straight down and think of all the things that you want to let go of and that you want to go away as well with that water <laughs> um it's a time for like you know it's just a time for heightening your supernatural abilities it's a time for going into yourself using your third eye so now, like I said, after the visualization or vision board, vision board practice, 
you can rearrange that you can set up an altar you can rearrange your altar if you already have one set up you can just you know just with what you feel at this moment be present in this time what do you feel affirm some things tell yourself go in the mirror talk to yourself tell yourself you know I am awesome I'm abundant I am amazingly made I'm wonderful I'm intelligent I'm grateful I'm humble I'm smart I am you know I am creative I am dynamic I am all of these things you can just create as you go along and it's a wonderful feeling to do because as you go along magically the words just come to you the things that you want that you believe on the inside your subconscious just releases it out lets it out and that's what you want because remember thoughts are things so we need to make things out of our thoughts here <laughs> during this heightened time um, Archangel Ariel is responsible for abundance so for those who like to deal with angels and angel you know practice you can talk to Archangel Ariel and say well hey I give you permission you know I'm thanking you for your presence for your being and I give you permission to blah 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 so and so in my life to close doors of blockages and then hindrance and open doors of success and opportunities and prosperity and abundance and all of the good that life has to offer make some music that's another thing you can do make a playlist of things that songs that, that ignite your soul songs that resonate with your goals songs that you know inspire you to move and to do something to like make changes songs that make you feel powerful same thing with your phone this is something I do sometimes like you know you can make your your screensaver or your background picture or whatever in alignment with whatever the thing is that you would like to see happen in your life with the biggest thing that you would want in your life or whatever just triggers that you know good feeling in you put that up on your phone that's what you have these things for to work for you not you work for them and you just sit there like Rrr, you know next up like I said set goals you know and make them feasible goals things that are not so out of this world but you know reasonable goals that you can actually target every day and make progress on something that you want to see change and if you focus on the day every day you focus on mastering that day you'll be amazed at how far you'll be in a few weeks months or even years so this is the time now eclipses are eclipses are something that take place often but total solar eclipses are very rare so the next one that we're gonna see is going to be in the year 2024 which is seven years from today but amazingly and magically and ironically it is taking place in the exact opposite direction of this one so this one is from northwest starting from northwest to southeast the next one is going to be taking place from northeast no, yeah to southwest and so you can't tell me these things don't have major supernatural significance they are a natural part of the natural cycle and intelligence of this universe and of the creator but at the same time for us these are symbols these are signs these are things that show us some shift is taking place energetically and I believe that because if you look at the changes that have happened in our in our lifetimes in our planet in our you know history as humans dramatic changes have taken place just in the last hundred years in the last 50 years and we don't know exactly when these transformations happen if we weren't researching certain things like deeper deeper Gnostic knowledge and stuff like that but if you take heed to these types of occurrences in the in nature you would actually more have a I think you'd have a better indicator of when things are changing you know what I mean so guys I didn't want this video to be too long but I just had to get this out here today protect your eyes you know some schools are even closing the schools like are dismissing early today because of the you know fear of kids trying to see this thing like it's not a meteor shower guys it is a solar eclipse so even that fact that fraction of sunlight that is going to be visible it's still going to be 
have a serious impact on your eyesight so if you're not wearing those special ISO you know certified eyewear and stuff like that it's not good enough basically um, some of us you could use your phone or whatever to like try and see it but I don't think that's gonna give you a clear picture either so <laughs> Go to websites, check out the information that's available if you have any other questions, guys. But I really want your feedback. I want, I'm, I'm excited about this, and I, I know you are. I want you to give me your feedback. Give me your suggestions on ideas or feelings on this happening today. And let me know where you live, what area do you live in. Um, I would like to know. <laughs> I'm curious about this kind of stuff, so just let's just all be excited and try our best to enjoy it and make the most benefit from it okay guys so thanks for watching this video if you liked give me a thumbs up guys and subscribe to my channel because i have lots more esoteric topics to talk about such as this one but let's just see how magical we can make this day today and the new moon phase people actually do these practices for up to three days into the new moon because the energy is said to still be around the same, the same strength, okay? So until I come back with another video, guys, peace, love, and blessed be.